Hey there, this is Leslie Stokes, writer and geologist with the Northern Miner. And I'm with Mining Clips today in downtown Vancouver at the International Metal Writers Conference. And I'm joined by Mickey Fulp, mercenary geologist, friend of mine and, uh, you know, fellow geo. And we fellow like, geo. We like ranting on at the bar sometimes. We do. We, we like do. rocks. We like banging on rocks. Rather pound on rocks and pound on people. So, <laughs> and know. pound on paper sometimes too. Yeah. So um, I just wanted to kind of gather your thoughts on where this market is going right now in the coming year. What do you expect to kind of see get moving? What do you expect to see stay stagnant? And um, yeah, what kind of companies do you have your eyes on? Yeah, so it's kind of an old story for me. I think we're in the incipient beginnings of a of a bull market for commodities. We've been down for arguably around five years and these cycles usually last about that period of time. So uh, it's not only uh, precious metals, but industrial metals, commodities all across the board, oil and gas, the whole bit. It, I think we're at the beginnings of this. So uh, from my point of view, this is the time you buy. As a contrarian, you want to buy when you see the market starting to come up. I think it's going to be a bit of fits and starts, maybe two steps forward, one step back. Commodities uh, went up, especially industrial metals. All commodities really got a bump on the Trump election. Oh, yeah. uh, they've since pulled back a bit, but they've kind of stabilized. So from that point of view, uh, I'm bullish on copper. Recently gone bullish on zinc, which I've never done in a 25-year career. Oh, uh, Mickey. So, uh, you know, I've looked at some new copper companies or older copper companies that have kind of rebranded. Uh, copper, zinc, I think my views on copper are uh, in a mid to long term. My z views on zinc are probably short to mid term. I see a window there. Right. And what about gold, too? Like, because I understand that sometimes we go into the summer doldrums where some companies and some commodities kind of just stagnate. Are we going to expect to see the gold? Well, I think we've seen it. Mm. We've seen a stagnant junior market for gold stocks here, or and senior market for gold stocks, basically since uh, before PDAC. Mm -hmm. The volumes on the venture exchange is really driven by gold. They have been very low. There's not a lot of interest in the market. I think it, there's not a lot of retail interest, um, so I expect this sort of sluggishness to continue through the summer doldrums. So what that does, it presents buying opportunities. I don't. Cool. The gold price is what two twelve sixty five today or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, I think it'll go down over the course of summer. Right, but then it'll kind of get its legs back and head back upwards, maybe. Yeah, well, that's the kind of usual seasonal trends, but mm. these are usual trends, and and these are compilations we've done for. In gold, we did 20-year record for gold, and we see these seasonal sorts of trends. Uh, but last year completely blew that out of the water, so you don't quite ever know. You never know. So, in terms of copper and zinc, well, first start, let's start with zinc. Who do you have your eyes on? Um, in terms of having a really great quality project? So I recently covered, last week I covered Hannon Metals, oh, cool. uh, zinc play in Ireland. Uh, a deposit was drilled out by Lundeen with a big land package, uh, explorable at all scales, to from deposit delineation to, uh, uh, to a, a seven and a half kilometer trend off wow. the edge of one deposit to a regional play with nine historic occurrences and, uh, and more targets than that. So uh, I own that stock or sponsor, so I'm conflicted obviously in that. Uh, in copper space today, I covered Trilogy Metals. I did. Uh, the new branding of what was once called Nova Copper with two world-class copper and other metal deposit, other metal contents in the Ambler District of Northwest Alaska. Excellent. Extremely high grade and huge. Awesome. So, Alaska and Ireland. Yeah. And Sounds once cool. again, I own that stock and they sponsor my website. Uh, I get it. Well, thank you so much, Mickey. Always a pleasure talking to you. Thanks. Once again, Leslie, my pleasure. <laughs>